well, let me welcome everybody to this momentous occasion as we do the grand ribbon cutting. We did the grand uh, groundbreaking some months ago. Now we're doing the grand ribbon cutting for Deer Lick Park's brand new, awesomely done uh, tennis courts. Now, for those of you who, who've seen this court before, it was, um, it, it had some issues. And <laughs> it had many issues and it was time. And it was time to create this newness and with the community providing the splost and being a part of it and supporting the splost and this one penny, and this is where your penny has gone. And now you'll see the awesome job that the guys around me has done. So I wanna just thank the community for entrusting this board and this, this whole venture of what we're doing and what we did. So your penny has done well, the splash dollar has done well. And I'm gonna start off by allowing um, Terry, I guess it would be Terry and, and uh, no, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna allow the parks director to come forth and just talk about kind of what's, what's going on here, how it all got started, how this became the newness of Deer Lick Park, and then we're gonna turn it over to the, the guys who directed all the traffic, and we're gonna move through this whole process. So just stay with me, and it's gonna be an awesome occasion, and I think you're gonna have some fun on this Friday, crisp, early morning, okay? So let's start with Gary, the direct, uh, the Duke, Gary Dukes, the director of Parks and Rec. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Commissioner Mitchell, and uh, thank you, Madam Chair, uh, Commissioner Robinson, uh, Commissioner Carthen and Commissioner Guider for support of the splash. Uh, and thanks, I'll echo what Commissioner Mitchell said about the citizens, uh, because without that vote, uh, the splash would not have passed and we wouldn't have this great facility. Uh, the facility is a top-notch uh, tennis complex. We have five tennis courts and also five pickleball courts. So, uh, pickleball crowd and the tennis crowd has a new facility to play. Uh, we have a picnic pavilion uh, where they can relax and wait on their match or just uh, come in and chill out. We also have, re of course, restroom facilities and uh, state-of-the-art lighting uh, so you can have night play. So, again, thanks for the support of the Splashed because without the splash, we wouldn't have the facility. Thank you. All right, thank you. And I will also add, thank you, Gary, for, excuse me, thank you, Gary, for, and your staff, for all the hard work you guys have done in supporting this whole project and getting to where we are today, though. So, with that being said, let me bring on the guys who actually put this all together. So let me get Terry and David, if they will come forth, and just talk about this whole process and talk about kind of the groundbreaking to the mere fact of tearing it up and finding very little rock and getting to where we are. So Terry, Gary, I mean, Terry and, and David. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. My name is Terry Gable and thank you, Commissioner and Gary. Uh, it's, it's a great day for the parks program. This is one of our top projects uh, in Gary's program uh, all in the overall list of his projects. Um, as you can see, and Gary mentioned, this is a state-of-the-art facility. It started back in March. It's a, it was about a seven month process we had some challenges along the way that the commissioner mentioned. Uh, if anybody knows Douglas County, there's granite, a good bit of granite here, and that was our biggest challenge, but obviously we, we overcame that and you ended up with a, a great product. So it's something to be very proud of, and Douglas County is going to be able to enjoy it for a long time. Uh, the design team was Carter Watkins, um, and the, con the contract was integrated construction. The, the, uh, the price ended up about a million dollars for the, for the facility. So great great project with the with the budget that we had going into it and came in under budget uh, and on time so just another great accomplishment there was a great team uh, and Gary said everything uh, just a great improvement over what was here so with that commissioner I'll turn it over to let David say a few words thank you again and uh, David if you would please thank you very much thank you commissioner uh, thank you Terry uh, one of the things you really will see about this park is the fact that we also have lighting so everybody wants to look at what the parks and how you have the tennis courts here but at the same time we do have beautiful lighting and to make sure that you can play in during the day or in the night now of course you probably wouldn't play at night right now because it's very cold but you could definitely come out here and hit some balls and one of the things i really want to appreciate the parks and rec committee is that at one point in time the 
percentages out of the spots was going to be less than 17%. But they fought and said, hey, we need to make sure we could get these tennis courts on here. So they increased it to 17%, which meant that million dollars that this court cost was able to come in. Without that push from the uh, Board of Commissioners, this, this um, beautiful area would not be like it is now. So I want to thank all the commissioners. Thank you, the citizens, for actually coming out here and making sure that, hey, this is something that you wanted. We didn't do this arbitrarily. We did this because the citizens said that this is what they wanted. So I want to thank you guys, the citizens, for these beautiful tennis courts here at Deer Lake. Thank you, Commissioner. And Mr. Good, and Mr. Good, thank you for all the hard work you've done and actually being that communicator and getting this project kind of where it is. So thank you again. Thank you. Now I'm going to uh, allow the commissioners because without the commissioners kind of on board and making this happen, it took all of us, all of our support and all of our interests in doing this. So I want to turn it over to now Madam Chair, who's the chairman of the Board of Commissioners, and talk about kind of her eyes and ears and how we got to where we are. So thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is a, a very exciting day. This is just an honor to stand here on this beautiful tennis court and would like to thank, uh, first of all, the citizens of Douglas County for allowing this moment to become possible. Uh, certainly the SPLOS dollars are coming in pretty well and we're excited and this is just another testimony that, it, that the dollars are moving. Would like to also thank Carter and Watkins for their hard work. I know this took quite a while, but it's wonderful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then we'd like to thank our Board of Commissioners and then also our entire uh, Gary Dukes and his team, uh, our Director of Parks and uh, Recreation, and then of course, David Good, and also Terry Gable. Thank you all for your hard work. Uh, this is uh, a day that the Lord has made. It's amazing. I know we have, I've been here before to play tennis and I'm not an avid ten tennis player, so hopefully this court will make me look better uh, because my game is really weak. But I am just so excited to just to see this 21st century uh, tennis court here and also pickleball court for our citizens. This is a day that is exciting for Douglas County. And I would like to thank our Parks and Recreation uh, Director, uh, um, not Director, but our Chair, and then also our Vice Chair, Terenia Carthen, for all the hard work that you all have done to make this come uh, to fruition today. So I'm honored. So thank you. And thank you, Madam Chair. And with that, as we do our social distancing and keeping, you know, things all together with our wipes. So, <laughs> and with that, I, you know, I, I couldn't have did this alone. It, it takes a team effort in pulling this off. So my, my right hand and, and always been there for me and making this thing happen, I've got to give her big kudos. And that's our, the co-chair of Parks and Rec Committee, uh, Terenia Carthen, thank you so much. And thank you. And if you would say a few words about how we got here, so. We got here because y'all voted yes for the SPLOSS. So that's how we got here. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful, and I can't wait to see Madam SG hit the ball and, and get this thing officially started. Thank you guys for coming out this morning, social distancing. And it's a little chilly, but we're out here to see this uh, amazing um, ribbon cutting take place and to play on this tennis court. Thank you for all those citizens who sent us emails wanting this ready for this to happen. Um, it's a great day in Douglas County. And remember, when you go out and you tell your friends to come to Douglas County, whether they're touring Douglas County or just coming to visit you, tell them to stop at a grocery store. Tell them to stop at a gas station because those cents add up to dollars and then they make sense, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> well stated. And I again, thank you so much again for, for that nice word of getting out and, and shopping because that one cent, as you can see, it, it, it made a whole lot of cents and dollars right here at this tennis court. Now, this, this whole thing came about many, many years ago, and, and he and I have been on this uh, trailblazer about how we can get Parks and Rec to where they are. And we, we, he and I was instrumental in taking that 11% to 17% and getting this amount of money to get these types of projects done in Parks and Recs. So I want to turn it over to my vice chairman, because this sits in your district, and your support was just enormous in being a part of this. And now look what you got. It paid off. So Vice Chairman Robinson, here you go. Thank you, Commissioner Mitchell, and, and thank my board of commissioners. And, and to the citizens of Douglas County, I'll, I'll be very short. Um, this was a journey. Um, and 
probably about 2015, we had just paid off the prayer sploss and we're, we're getting geared up because the citizens cried out says, okay, but what about us? How do I experience my tax dollars on a daily basis? Let me see that. And now that that came, this, this park, which is, I think, Gary somewhere, this is one of the most visited parks in the, the whole system. Very visited, right? And so it's important that we have assets here that are reflective of that, that people can use them and not hurt themselves and stuff. So this was a true reconstruction effort. It wasn't just brand new. We reconstructed this place. That's important, redevelopment. And so I, I want to just thank all the citizens, those who had to endure this and get this, but we'd like for you to come on out and engage yourselves. I mean, we could talk about what we did, but it's about you, the citizens. This is your tax dollars. This is what you asked for. And I can't wait, not just the ribbon cutting. I want to see you out here actively playing, engaging, taking it to a whole nother level. So with that being said, I'm just going to yield this because, again, this is great for District 2. It's awesome, right, to watch this, this park be redeveloped. Right? Think about it. Where it was, people looked at this park, and they, 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 they came to me and said, Commissioner Robinson, can, can we improve it? And, you, and they, they weren't literal. But you can see their hearts that they pretty much said, like, okay. They cried out, and I had to be able to understand it. But I, I have to come to Commissioner Mitchell. It, it's this, this wasn't about me advocating. When we sat in that boardroom, I'm in with this story, and Commissioner Mitchell is always what? On the phone. And he's leaving a board meeting. And we're looking at, we're, we're carving up, what? The spots. And saying, what categories? And Commissioner Mitchell said, look, this is not enough. 11%. And he's walking out the door. Right. And what was important is that as you, if you work together with other people, it's like, OK, I heard him. And I looked at my peers. This wasn't a vote. His voice spoke alone. This is not enough. I got to go. And next thing you know, I, I advocate like, OK, did y'all hear him? And, and Gary, was that not true? In one smooth stroke, we changed it to 17 percent. So I want to thank you, sir, for what this is. And again, guys, can we give Commissioner Mitchell a hand clap for what he did? And with that said, citizens, come on out for District 2, and I thank all my board of commissioners, Madam Chair, et cetera. Thanks, sir. You're good. As we know, well stated, and again, kudos to Commissioner Mitchell. Okay, all right, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what we're going to do, though. In the, it, it is in this district, so we'll let Commissioner Vice Chair Robinson kind of call the first, the first game. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The very first tennis match at the Douglas County brand new Deer Lake tennis course. We have... Um, uh, our Solicitor General, Sonia Compton, on this side. On the receiving side, we have Sheila Martin. All right, you guys ready, set to go? Yes. First serve. She kicks off her Serena Williams serve and... <laughs> yes, yes, very good. Good job. Okay, we got some back out. So once again, thank you. Thank you to the citizens of Douglas County and thank you for those of you who continue to add to the, the splashed dollars that make these projects real and, and make it happen. So we need your support and need your ideals because we've got a long way to go with the splash dollars and we've done exceptionally well thus far. We've got the Senior Citizen Center that's coming online soon. We've got the, the Boundary Waters Community Center that's coming online. We've got the fire station. We just also have, we, we just recently uh, turned on the, um, the radio system. So there's a lot that's going on and your splashed dollars are being well taken care of and being well used. So again, thank you. And on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, again, thank you. And now we'll have the ribbon cutting by our dear friend of District 1, Vice Chairman Robinson. So on the count of three, in three, two, one. Yes. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. 